Let's take a quick look at how to use backups and specifically backup groups for Voice Support 2. Uh, imagining that potentially you play in, say, multiple bands that play at multiple venues, how are you going to deal with that stuff and make it really quick and easy for you to get from gig to gig? Okay, so let's imagine that we play in two cover bands. You can guess maybe that this hello from the other side set of presets is for my Adele cover band and the today is going to be the day presets are for my Oasis cover band. So let's first back up all. So what we're going to do then is we're going to have a backup of everything that's in our unit, all of our customized presets, because we want to have that as a starting point if we're going to be taking presets in and out of the unit regularly. You need the snapshot of everything to get started from. So now we've got our first backup. I just hit backup all there. Going to go back to the unit here and see these are the live presets. Now let's start creating uh, groups for our various bands and then sub backups in those groups for the various venues. So I'm going to right click on backups and create an empty group. Now let's call that Adele cover band. Okay, now I have this group. So I'm going to go back to the unit and I'm going to select these presets, my Adele cover band presets. So I'm going to say backup selected. And it's going to create this selected backup. Now I'm going to say at this point that the setup that the unit was in, that the state it was in, is good for Jim's place uh, where we play. So I'm going, to, I'm going to rename this Jim's place, knowing that the current setup in the unit, when I did the, the backup and when I, when I got the data, was great for Jim's place. I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it into the Adele cover band. Now you can see I've got Jim's place in there. So now what I would do is click on the unit again here. I would go back to the unit and, for example, say uh, I need a setup where it's in dual mono instead of in stereo at another venue. I would go and set on the unit itself, set it to dual mono, get the data again so it goes through and it's going to get those presets back off the unit, including the setup data. And just take a second here to actually do it in real time. I won't do this, this process again each time in the examples, but just so you know what I'm doing. So I would come back and I would say, okay, great. Now that I've had this new setup, attached to these to these presets that I see, I'm going to do the backup selected again. So now we've got another selected and I'm going to say we're going to play at the Love Shack. It's a little old place where we can get together. So I'm going to take the Love Shack and drag it into Adele's cover band as well. Now I have the two different sets of presets. They're the same preset, but the setup data that's attached to them is different and changes the way that the unit works depending on where I'm going to go play. So now what I would do is I would say, okay, I'm going to go play at the Love Shack tonight. I right click to get this menu to come up and I just go restore the Love Shack to Voice Live 3 Extreme. When I go back to the Extreme here, you can see actually only the presets that were in that backup. See those other presets that I used to have for that Oasis, the ones that were right here? They're gone. Right, they're in my all backups. That's why I backed up first. The Love Shack has now thrown on just the Love Shack presets and the setup data. I could go to Jim's place and do the same thing. It's going to overwrite those presets. And Jim's place now has the setup. So that was our one that was in stereo. I mean, you could even, if you wanted to, you could rename them, you know, something like this. If you wanted to have more clarity about what's actually going on. So now let's go back and we're going to take this um, this all backup that we got, and I'm going to restore that whole backup to the unit now as well. So it's going to restore the whole thing, all these presets, and what that's going to do is put my Oasis cover band presets back into the unit along with the initial setup. Now, I'm not going to do this whole sync thing a bunch of times, but I did need to do it once in order to get the presets where I wanted them in a backup. So these are now the presets that are on my unit. I'm going to go to backups again, create an empty group, Oasis cover band. All right, and now I'm going to take these presets. Today is going to be the day. Oops. And I'm going to backup selected. So here they come. Rename it. We're going to play at the Wonderwall. Quite appropriate, of course. I'm going to drag that into my Oasis cover band. So now you can see I've got two bands. I've got multiple places that I can play within them. And I also have my original big backup here that I can grab everything from. Hope that helps you. Uh, it's a really, really great way of optimizing your workflow as you uh, go out and play out in multiple places. Take care.